Hey guys, my name is Nikki um, and I be chillin'. Today I'm playing Sea of Stars for the first time. I have actually played the demo. I played about an hour of it, I think, but I had to cut myself off there because I was very excited to get into the game. I didn't want to see too much of it yet. But Sea of Stars is the game that just came out today. It's actually on Game Pass already, so I'm very excited um, to get into it. This is actually my very first YouTube playthrough that I'm ever doing off of Twitch. Definitely check me out on Twitch, though, at Nikki B. Chillin'. But yeah, I'm very excited to get into this game. The combat, from what I've seen in the demo, looks awesome. The art style, I know everyone is saying the art style looks very cool, but it does. And just the the way of exploring in this game uh, really caught my eye in the demo. So let's check it out. Let's get into a new game here. This title menu is so beautiful, and the music is so pretty as well. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. Um, I remember this from the demo. I actually forgot their names, though. So there's Valerie, Valerie, I, it's probably Valerie, um, and Zale. Um, so Zale is a blade dancer born on the summer solstice. Solstice is a hard word to say. I'm sorry in advance. Walks the path of guardian god Solon, a monk born on the winter solstice. Walks the path of guardian goddess Luana. I believe I said that right. So we're going to start with Valerie because she was born on the winter solstice and Nikki be chillin'. It seems a little bit more appropriate. I like these two different um, play styles off the bat. You can either be a monk or a blade dancer. Great archives. I don't think this was in the demo. Welcome to the great archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. Okay, so we don't know who this is. Some suspicious individual sitting in the chair. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. An immortal? Kind of intimidating. There is one special story I wish to revisit. One deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer a valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer? I'm sorry, the Fleshmancer? <laughs> okay, that sounds actually kind of intimidating. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. <laughs> what? what? I don't. I don't know what that means. But call me not a solstice warrior. I'm sorry, but I do. I don't understand this. Use magic without using magic. But right off the bat, I'm saying it again. Music is outstanding. <laughs> it's so great. I also love Valerie's character design. When you can see her um, profile up close here. Zale reminds me of Titus a little bit. <laughs> Titus from Final Fantasy X. He's just got that, that blonde hair, those blue eyes. So, the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be. But it sure beats sitting at the Academy. Okay, so it seems like they're like learning their magic ways um, through the Academy and they're were sent on some kind of like mission. And sewing. <laughs> Sewing? Oh, so they were learning other things at the academy as well, like sewing. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greater need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. Ha ha ha! Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Oh, we're splitting up right off the bat? Okay, this is cool. Time for some scouting. Oh my god, this actually kind of scared me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm coming through. Let's do our first attack here. Um, I think we just do a basic attack. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, took a little bit of damage there. Okay, I can't do skills yet. So I believe right now all we're doing is attacking. Brugavs wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Brugavs. I wonder if I'm saying that right. I honestly don't know. It might be like Brugaves. <laughs> that seems kind of like a dramatic way to say it. I don't know. Let's see where this leads. The music makes me so happy. Like, I feel like I'm filled with serotonin. And another cool thing about this game is you can actually climb onto different, like, levels of the world. Oh my gosh. Okay, is that a... I don't even know what that is. Enemy design seems really unique. Okay, he's, like, following me. Or something. I. He might be nice. I honestly don't know. Trust no one, first of all. Okay. No, trust no one. <laughs> I, sh I should know this. He looks kind of like a bull. Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Oh, now we get to see our skills. Okay. That animation is so cool. I'm just, like, geeking out. Like, this game is pushing all of my nerd buttons. Valerie, found anything? I wonder if I could have backtracked and gone the way he went, too. I didn't even try to. Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note. But the way to the top is definitely through here. Okay, so I guess I went to the dead end, then. The sun is setting. Come over, I'll get a fire going. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the longer path. Look at this bridge. So many little details in this game. Is There's an actual cave? This is really cool. Seems like there's another enemy up here. Again, really interesting uh, enemy design. And I also really like this <laughs> mechanic. I'm rock climbing. This feels so cool. I wasn't expecting this game to be so exploring base and i think that's something i already really like about it like i'm not i don't even think i'm like 20 minutes into the game and i've already like done a pretty cool variety of things i did this one in the demo and it was one of my favorite like combat things i've seen in a turn-based game in a while but you have to press space to deflect when it like comes back at you i've only tried this on the controller That attack is just so, so dope. Okay, we got him. We took him out. So far, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's press on. Okay, seems like we have to do a little bit of jumping. Doesn't seem too hard. Okay, we made it back to Zale. You ever miss those years? before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble and making mistakes. It does kind of seem sad. It seems like there's um, a buildup of a story where like they have these powers, but that also brings them a lot of burdens and they're not able to like live the life that they would if they didn't have these powers. I'm sorry, Valerie, I, I didn't mean. It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened, it's just. I wonder who they're talking about. I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends. But maybe they had like another friend um, that they had met in the academy or something. Oh, girl. Oh, there, you know what? There was another character in the demo and I don't remember if his name was Garl. Um, It might have been. I actually forgot about that till now. 10 years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh, this area looks really pretty. Oh, and they're all like younger. That's cute. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. Okay, that is Garl. That is who was in the demo. I was right about that. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? 
Stories say it's a giant serpent, and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since uh, even before there were traveling historians to record it. It's the bell. Erlina and Brugavs are back. I still don't know if I'm saying Brugavs right. I'm just gonna assume I am. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Okay, so now we're, we're moving. So let's get our first save. Children of the Solstice. And we're in Moon Cradle. Only 20 minutes in, and I already feel like I've gotten a lot out of this game, honestly. Um, okay. Seems like we can climb up here. Also, right off the bat, this area is very different looking than the one we were just in. Um, I'm curious to see how much variety this game actually has with the world design and stuff, because it already seems like there's a lot. Okay, let's go into here. Let's see what this is. Oh, maybe it's like a, a, a stable or something? Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? No, obviously I'm not. Obviously I'm right in front of you. <laughs> I wonder what he means by that though. The little cave. Maybe there's something else we can check out in this area. Hope you're not getting into trouble again. You really need to stop trying to open the Forbidden Cavern. Okay, the Forbidden Cavern. Seems like everyone's hinting at this cave somewhere that's pretty sus. Hey, wait! Maybe I should have tried to go, on, go up first. Look at how cool this looks! I didn't realize there were cutscenes like that at all. I was not expecting that. Honestly, I thought the whole game would be pixel art. But to see, like, another kind of art style within it is really cool. It really adds to it. Also, hello! These people are attractive as hell, just saying. I, like, caught- took my breath away for a second. There you are! Playing in your secret hideout again. I wonder if this is a power couple, because they kind of look like it. They're beautiful. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. She seems a little bit, a little bit grumpy, a little bit stuck up or something. Who knows what she's been through. Whoa, okay, so it seems like she can use fire magic of some sort. Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? I wonder if there's only two different kinds of magic in this world. Um, if it's like winter solstice magic and um, summer solstice magic, or if it, there's like a lot more in between then. But I wonder about Garl, because I wonder if Garl can use magic as well. He might not be able to. That would be kind of an interesting twist. Solstice warriors. Okay, this is the headmaster. Headmaster Moraine. Oh, he's got a cool staff. I accidentally skipped through um, his first line of dialogue, I think. That's my bad. Right away, Headmaster. Okay, he asked them to do something. I accidentally skipped through it right when he said it, so I don't know what he asked them to do, but there's some kind of mission that is going on now. Let's go, Brugavs. Okay, she does not sound happy about the mission that they were just given, and he didn't either, because he didn't even say anything. He didn't even say goodbye or anything. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. And Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away. And then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. Okay, seems like there's someone over here. Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow was a gift from the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. So I believe we're supposed to go up here then, through the pretty archway. Okay, so now we're on the bigger world map, so to speak. Okay, let's go straight in here. So let's see what's up with this door, this forbidden cavern. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. <laughs> Garl knows what's up. Garl knows exactly what's up. Here. I wonder if this actually improves our attributes or our stats at all. 
It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the celestial willow. Oh, interesting. I did notice that in the demo, cooking was a part of this game. And I thought that that was really cool. All right. How do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. So interesting that Valerie has to be the one to do it. I wonder why that is. But it seems like it worked. So it had, I guess there was something with the full moon. It worked? I did it. I finally did it. Oh gosh. I am kind of nervous to go into this cave. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. I thought Evermist Island was safe. I guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh, no. <laughs> See? Recipe for disaster. I knew it. Watch out. There's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Have you try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I don't know. Just try. <laughs> I like how girl is like, just do it. Just do the magic. I can't do it, but you can. So just do it. Ori, watch out. Girl took the hit for her? That's actually kind of sad. Girl! My eye! Dang, Garl! His eye poked out? It really hurts! I can't see! Oh, I'm actually- I feel really bad for Garl! Okay, the headmaster is probably coming to save us, and he's gonna yell at- yell at us. So, it was you. Headmaster, Garl needs help! It, it feels better. Okay, so it seems like he healed him, which is good. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle as a regular kid. What Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. Okay, so Garl doesn't have magic. We, we're we confirming this now. Honestly, this kind of makes me like Garl more because if he doesn't have magic, he almost doesn't have that thing to rely on, yet he seems braver than the other two. He actually seems like the inspiration for the other two. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. Okay, so he did lose his eye. That's really sad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak to them now. So. The headmaster is actually the reason they haven't seen Garl in, what did they say? Did they say 10 years? And then the headmaster didn't even say that they'll see Garl again when they're done training. Oh, this looks really cool. We're like in the clouds. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become a true solstice warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. That's very, very cool. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. Shows great promise that you were able to feel it before and Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. Those two other people that we had met had magic abilities too, but I don't, I think that assumes that they're solstice warriors as well. Like, I don't know like how strong our powers are. Like we might be like the strongest people in the world for all we know. You'll spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. This is the sewing that they had mentioned earlier. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an en enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, 
guaranteeing light in the darkest places, and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You're to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Interesting. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. Next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brugavs. Good old Brugavs. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Training sword. Okay, we're getting our weapons here. Training staff. Okay, cool. All right, let's get to work. 99, 100. This is intense. That's it for today. You did great. You. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Oh, this is just so pretty. Like, the tint of pink everywhere. Pink is my favorite color, so it, this is just making me very, very happy. Yes, okay. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic. I love the stern look she constantly has in her eyes. It's reminding me of um, Naruto's Rasengan training. <laughs> this is dope. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One. Two. Three. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. She is so pretty. I can't get over it. She is so beautiful. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. And okay, I like her more now. I like her more now. She's making a point. She's making a really good point. Erlina. Yeah, see? It's like he's cutting her off for, for speaking the facts. This is kind of sus to me. Um, I definitely am a bit skeptical about the headmaster being so like so strict with the training of people but it's probably to actually save the world in some capacity so yeah she just kind of storms away um as for the two of you it's about time you tried that sewing kit move along now oh here we are sewing and making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure it's a tall order well i'm bored <laughs> okay, we're just done. We're just done. Can I look at this guy? I can't even go back to it. <laughs> that was funny. That was like so sudden. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. The Dweller of Strife. That's another, that's another term we haven't heard yet. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take on the Wraith Island. We don't need them. Valerie and Zale were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. These two kids are also like celestial beings, and thus are probably very important. Maybe that's why the Headmaster wants to teach them how to defend themselves. And so they trained and they sewed for days, and then for months. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansing are always performed during a total e eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. So that's what um, Erlina was saying, is that the Fleshmancer already left the world, so she felt like the threat to the world wasn't 
um, eminent enough to make these kids train for years. But clearly the headmaster knows something that she doesn't. Thus we must always remain vigilant. Yeah. Headmaster. Yes, Valerie. What happened with the del- uh, what happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? Moyara's gotta be something important to him. That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valerie, wake up! Val, what is it? Oh, there's something here. Hey, look! Oh, smells good. There's a note. Girl! Dear Valerie and Zale, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mint. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. And so they trained and they sewed for years. And then they trained and they sewed some more. This is a really cool way to do a time skip. Until one day. Zale, that's the one. I can feel it too, hold on. So they actually did it at the same time. It was very interesting. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. After 10 years of sewing one piece of fabric, you finally get it. I didn't notice it before in the character design, but that's so cool that it actually like shows on them and it's like flows when they walk as well. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why yes, the tingling magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there'll be no more sewing. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now so that I may use my agility to cleanse the world and protect my companions. I will enter this world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. That is a very cool title, blade dancer. That's dope. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff. For it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Today, you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Valerie. Let's just go for it. Okay. Oh, maybe we, did we jump down in some kind of dungeon here? Um, okay, there's three things here. Um, we can't go past this. There's a chest up on this side. Let's try going up this ladder first. Wonder if this is like a puzzle as well. Oh, okay, we're gonna need an item for this. Obviously not the cookie jar. There we go. Okay, so these things actually hop up and then we can hop over to this side. Ornate stone. Yeah, we put the stone um, in this thing over here, I'm assuming. Um, and it opens these things, brings out some monster dudes. Let's try it. Smashes enemies in an arc. Cause that hits multiple of them. Okay, not great, but it'll do. Oh, I forgot about the parrying, the blocking. 
let's go ahead and actually just attack. Oh, I forgot. I can also press space as I'm attacking. There it is. Um, okay. So it seems like we're probably supposed to jump over through here. Oh, and then we tightrope walk, it seems. But we are going to need a stone to put in here. You can even see the building still um, from the town under us. But it'd be so scared to walk across this rope at this height. It really just goes to show how stone cold their training made them. Okay, we got another stone. Stone cold? I just made an accidental pun. Nice! I got the parry! Okay, hell yeah. Yes, I did it twice. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do that normal attack. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay. We're going up. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. Word. I wonder if that's our first boss? Word will be a walk in the park. Sounds good for us. Oh, is this word? <laughs> this might be a- Yes, it is. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. Let's freaking go, word. Bring it on. He healed us as well. Thank you, bro. Shuffle weakness physical. I forgot to do my combo there. Oh, okay. I think I parried it. Now he's weak to the sun. Um, so let's just have Valerie attack. Not gonna be too good because he's vulnerable, but let's do Sunball. Hell yeah, that was a lot of damage. Okay, now he's weak to the moon. To Moonerang. I want this to be a good one. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! The music really does slap. I'm actually- it's actually like distracting me from remembering my uh, blocking and stuff. I don't know what these icons above him mean, actually. So let's just try doing a basic attack. Oh, he was- oh, maybe that meant he was vulnerable to it? Hell yeah! With that- Was that a finishing blow? We took our weapons out. Oh, we actually get to level up now. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for that right now. Magic defense. And for him, uh, let's go for physical defense. I feel like that's good to start out with. Congratulations, you have been well-trained. Return now to your headmaster. Word really was a walk in the park. They were right. Oh, we, we jump out right behind him there? That's pretty cool. Congratulations, Valerie and Zale. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. <laughs> yeah, that's my thoughts exactly, Zale. Like, what? Huh? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. Look at how wholesome this seems. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? Yeah, where is Garl? This raining is ridiculous. Oh, we'll let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Valerie and Zale being children of the solstice also in this case means that they have to fight. Like, I don't even think they got a choice, really. I think it was probably the same for Brugaz and... I forgot her name again, <laughs> but it was probably the same for them. 
Valerie Zell, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. It's so cool to see how, like, confident they became in themselves. Go now, through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the Mountain Trail, to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic. You shall then enter the world as true solstice warriors. Make journeys and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world. And we're off. <laughs>